Airy Singles, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. Keep in mind that anything in this reading can go vice versa and check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity if you need it. Also, this is just a general reading, so everything may not ring true for everyone, okay? And the outcome may not be the same for everyone. The only way to find out the outcome to your particular situation is to get a personal reading, okay? And I'm also available on Instant Go. So let's get right into it. Six of Pentacles is your overall energy. So uh, you could have been dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. I'm saying that someone is backing down from a relationship. And this is a one-sided relationship that we're talking about. Could be a Gemini. Okay, we've got the Lover's card. So there is some type of a head-over-heart decision that you've been waiting. You've been waiting for. And it looks like things have been stuck for quite some time in a, in, a, in a state of stagnation someone is feeling mentally trapped like they can't get over this person okay but we got the the strength card for some of you it's a leo but it looks like you definitely do have the strength to back down from this situation if you choose to what i am seeing that you're waiting for is movement choices decision Things have been in stagnation for quite some time. And this is someone that we're, we're talking about someone that has given you false hope that they want a relationship. Well, I, I won't say that they've given you false hope. I'm saying that it started out that way. They gave you the impression that they wanted this relationship for the long haul, but haven't really laid any groundwork to prove what it is that they're saying. I'm seeing that someone walked away from this situation. Something that they invested a lot of time and emotion into. Um, because someone got tired of the waiting game. Again, this has been going on for quite some time. And it looks like you're, you're getting fed up with it. But you're still feeling stuck. Like you cannot... <sighs> Let go of your sentimental feelings. I'm definitely seeing someone backing down, you know, and it looks like things, it's like you, you feel like your whole world is falling apart. But it definitely, there was someone um, being sneaky. And when you found out about this, you decided to stand your ground. You decided to stand your ground against these facades, this mind games that this person has been playing. I'm seeing that, it, that it's these sentimental feelings that keep changing your mind and keep bringing you back into this relationship, back into this situation. And what you're really wanting to see is accelerated motion you wanting to see things speed up because you've had this um, on again, off again situation. You've isolated yourself. Um, you've been having, you've gone through a lot of, of pain and grief in this relationship. And this is without a doubt, a soulmate relationship. I'm seeing that you're spending a lot of time thinking about this situation, you know, um, to the point of staying up all night, thinking day and night, thinking about this situation. You're being advised to get some rest, to let this situation go and trust that everything that is for you will materialize for you. Okay, because it looks like you're having the courage to keep going. Okay, the courage and the strength to keep going. Okay, um, this is someone in the past that um, had many options, maybe even had a drinking problem, but has been very indecisive. Someone is definitely stuck in the past, wondering and wishing what could have been in this relationship. And someone feels like they have to compete for their own spot in this relationship. Mm -hmm. It looks like you're, you're hoping for stability and justice. 
But I'm saying that justice is coming your way because someone's about to take a leap of faith into making a decision. Okay, someone is finally standing their ground. Okay. And with the Ace of Swords, severing the ties, releasing themselves, gaining freedom from this feeling of being stuck. So, you will... It is headed towards movement choices and decisions and accelerated motion in that direction is what I'm seeing. Okay, you've been playing the waiting game for so long. Um, I'm seeing fertility, new beginnings. For some of you, this is literal pregnancy. New beginnings. Okay, someone finally putting in the work and the effort to, to move things along, clearing up any confusion with the Ace of Swords, clearing up any unhappiness with the stagnation. You know, new beginnings are coming. I'm seeing forgiveness taking place here for some of you, not for everyone, right? But for some of you, you're deciding to forgive this person. For some of the, for some of you, you may have children with this this um, person that you're waiting on. And I'm saying that relationship dynamics are about to change because someone is coming back. Okay, someone that you've made a lot of sacrifices for. And now you're about to experience material and spiritual prosperity. Okay, because I'm definitely seeing that you've been calling on your spiritual strength trying to get through this situation. Okay, I'm seeing triumph and victory. You've got, you're going to get triumph over this situation. Seven represents completion. This is going to be the end of this waiting game. Victory. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. You also have breathe. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. Okay. Because I'm definitely seeing that someone is stuck in this old way of thinking. Feeling like they're stuck. Okay. But... The tower got the, the lightning bolt, which represents enlightenment, divine intervention. Finally, someone's going to see the light and get some enlightenment and move things forward. Okay, so definitely what I'm seeing, the waiting game is over or it will soon be over without a doubt. You're going to see accelerated motion, movement, and choices are going to be made. Okay, let's, oh, and new beginnings. New beginnings are coming your way. Okay, and I'm saying that someone is finally going to take a leap of faith and someone's finally going to make a gesture. Some of you do have kids with this person. A gesture of, of, of um, a romantic gesture saying, let's, let's rebuild this relationship. Let's make something solid. Let's make something of this. So you're going to see forward movement. We have, okay. We have more than one card talking about fertility. We have the Empress, which does represent new beginnings. And we have the fertility card. So for some of you, you could actually be experiencing pregnancies or linked, be linked to someone who is pregnant. So if you are not wanting to become pregnant, you know what to do. If you do want to become pregnant, congratulations in advance. But this is also new beginnings. New beginnings are on the horizon. And with the three of cups at the, the ne being the next card, there's a reunion on the horizon. So, yeah, take courage. For some of you, this is about to, to play out. And, and the thing that you've been waiting for, the answers to your prayers are about to come, come forth. Yeah, without a doubt, victory. And that's what the Ace of Swords is about too. Victory. Victory over this situation that you've been waiting long and hard. It's been a hard, difficult, and arduous journey waiting for this. But with the Judgment card, this talks about second chances. And you also have the Magician wiping the slate clean, starting over, making things happen. You also have the Ace of Wands. You have the Six of Wands. Everything is talking about a new beginning. Victory. Things are coming to a completion. Things are ending this week or in the near future because this can continue to play out for other people. Everything plays out at different times for everyone. 
So if it doesn't happen this week and we are at the end of the week, so if it doesn't happen in this upcoming week, I not to say that you have to wait around because you don't have to wait around for anyone. You um, have the the power is in your hands. That's what the the magician says. That that's what that card means. You have the power over the situation. Even though you're waiting, it doesn't mean that the ball is not in your court. It absolutely is. You could definitely walk away from this situation and move on. No one's stuck here. However, for those of you who choose to wait, the wait is about to be over for most of you. And that's what I'm seeing this week. Let's see what else I have for you. Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, what, it, what messages do you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for... January 2018. What additional messages, Holy Spirit, do you have for Aries singles? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for January 2018. Quiet Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Take a divinely guided chance. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you're ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for more new and meaningful opportunities. Unlimited ideas. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is take divinely guided action to allow those ideas to come into fruition. Absolutely, you are being divinely guided. You got the magician as above, so below. So whatever access you have in heavenly realms, you also have it here below. So you are not limited in any way. You're being divinely guided this week. So whatever divine guidance, whatever div divine um, information that you receive this week, you're being guided to follow that. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God, and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. God is your source. Okay, one more. Holy Spirit, what final word of advice do you have for Aries singles? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for January 2018. Aries singles. January 2018, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Here we go. I choose love no matter what. So that is your message this week. Choose love. God is love. Okay. Ooh, and at the bottom of the deck, the presence of love will always cast out fear. And this is true. Fear is nothing but an acronym, which is false expectations appearing real. Sometimes our thoughts can run away with us and we can feel like our thoughts are larger than life. But perfect love will cast out fear. In other words, God is love, right? If you, if you don't believe in God, then whatever you believe is your higher power, okay, that will cast out fear. Your faith, in other words, will cast out fear. Whatever it is that you feed that will grow. If you feed your fears, those will grow and it'll feel like it's larger than life. If you feed your faith, you can do miraculous and wonderful things. Okay, you've got the magician. Jesus Christ himself said, the things that I do, you can do better than me. Okay, because he, God gave us, he endowed us with the ability to manifest what it is that we want in our lives. We are co-creators. So, as the magician represents, as above, so below. So that is your message this week, Aries. I'm wishing you the absolute best, Aries, and this concludes your reading. So if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, 
You can contact me on my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. I'm also available on Instant Go. Okay, so the Instant Go app is available for those who are iOS users. If you have an iPad, um, an iPhone, or a MacBook, you can download the Instant Go app at the Apple Store. Make sure to text me your question rather than calling. If you text me, I will get back to you no later than 24 to 48 hours. It doesn't always take that long, but, you know, things can get a bit hectic. I'm not ignoring you if I don't get back to you instantly, but I, if I see your text, which I will because I do check for them, I will indeed get back to you. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're new. Welcome to the family. And thank you just the same to all of you who are existing subscribers. You are all appreciated. Take care and have a wonderful and beautiful rest of the week. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.